on the inside. And yeah, you know, say say how have, the or, how have uh, you been on chase to just keep your spirits up and stuff with all the changes that have happened in the past? You know, just been positive. Um, you know, he has to have that confidence in himself that he knows that, you know, he belongs here, he can play here, and he can get the job done. Um, you know, I think that's one of the biggest things that everybody's been on about. You know, obviously, you see him in practice, you know he can play here, but, you know, he has to have that mental aspect of it that, you know, he knows himself that he can. And especially with all the shuffling going on around, you know, it's easy for you to get down on yourself. You know, you get taken out. And I, I was in that same situation my Richard freshman year between, you know, Grant and I when Grant came back. So, I mean, yeah, it's tough, but at the same time, you lean on the people around you and, you know, they're supportive and that type of thing. So. And you're going to need it, right? <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, he's going to be a big, big key player for us this year. Your thoughts of John Hughes? I mean, he just got here in May, and all of a sudden, you know, he's fighting for a job. You went, you redshirted your first year. Can you imagine trying to play college football in, in four months, three months? Yeah, well, the thing, well, it's a little different from him. Uh, he's I came yeah. straight out of high school, and, you know, he came from a JUCO. Um, but he had a really, really good summer. Um, you know, he's had a really good fall camp so far. And, you know, he's just one of those people that just, you know, it might not be a huge step every day, but it's a little step every day where he gets a little better. And, you know, that's that's the main goal. That's the main key. I've heard that don't say that. Uh, I, usually, it. I usually don't look between my legs, so I couldn't tell you. You don't, you don't look. I, no, just I snap it. Yeah. Hope he's there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is this, in your mind, I mean, if you move you over there, Am I a center? Am I a guard? Or is this now I'm a center? I, mean, I, you know, I haven't really put much thought into it. It's one of those things, you know, I'll, I'll play wherever Coach Moore or Coach Brown tells me or puts me. Um, you know, I've told both of them it doesn't matter to me where I play as long as I play. Uh, so, I mean, it's just one of those things where, you know, I'm, I'll play wherever. So, I mean, I mean, to me, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, you know, the more positions you can play, the better off you are. Okay. And, I mean, they are. They are similar, aren't they? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, yep. uh, uh, probably don't do as much running. Maybe yeah, I think I think the biggest thing that I've noticed so far um, would be the fits uh, in the run game are a little different. Just because, you know, sometimes, you, you know, as, as a guard, you always have either a three technique or a two eye, to where as a center, if, you know, you, you're running to a three technique, you don't have anybody on you to block, um, you know, or, you run, you know, you run outside zone to a two eye, you know, it's a little tougher to cut off or that type of thing. But, I mean, they're very similar in the footwork aspects of it and that type of thing. You say you don't look between, you don't. Look, look back, uh, you know, maybe even ever, except maybe, yeah. maybe when you first just get there and look where we're Yeah, I just, I just listen for the clap or the cadence, and I'm like, well, he better be paying attention. <laughs> it's coming, huh? He's yeah. good. He's ready or not. Send it, I guess, to the same spot every time. Then. I mean, yeah, as as yeah, I mean, that stuff, once, once you do it, and you know, I've played center my freshman sophomore years of high school, so I kind of still had a little bit of memory of that. And, Mess around here and there, snap the ball once or twice. So it was one of those things. But, you know, snapping's all muscle memory. Once you get it down, it's down. Of course, when you were snapping in high school, you probably had a 190-pound line guy lined up over you, though. Oh, that might have been the biggest kid I ever played against. <laughs> <laughs> but, no. Yeah, usually, yeah, it was probably somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Yeah, but, you know, when you got the ball, everybody's looking at you now. So when you were before, when you were a guard, only maybe your mom and dad and your girlfriend was looking yeah. at you. Now everybody's going to be watching you because you got the ball in your hand. That's fine. My dad always said you either want to be the guy at the bottom of the seventh inning and two outs and the base is loaded and it's a 3-2 count or you want to be the kid that's sitting at the very end of the dugout praying that you're not up to bat. So, so only seven inning games over there, huh? Not nine inning. Yeah. As, as a group, the offensive mm -hmm. line, you, know, you guys are close. Mm -hmm. How did you handle when all of a sudden things are being shuffled, shuffled around and changed? I mean, how, as far as keeping spirits up and, you know, you know like, like convincing you that you should be a center or that Chase probably can make it better as a guard or how, however it went. How did you handle it? Uh, I don't really think, you know, it didn't really go anything like that. It was just kind of one of those things, you know, they just wanted to try something different. Uh, no, I didn't. I was just, I was like, okay, you know, don't bother me. And, you know, I've just been really supportive towards Chase, um, you know, because he's going to have to be a guy for us this year. Um, and, you know, he, I mean, he, he obviously played some last year, but he has to, you know, mentally know that he can start play every game and he can play a lot of snaps. Um, so, I mean, just being real, really positive towards him and around him and, you know, really all the guys because, you know, at this point in time, you know, we don't really have very much depth, as, you know, Coach Moore said. 
Um, so, you know, they're still trying to find those guys and just being positive towards all of them to let them know, hey, you know, you, you should be here, you can play here. You know, you, you just got to apply yourself and you have to mentally know that you can. The next day for you, I mean, different muscles sore or anything? Or? No. No? No. I was surprised with that. I thought maybe I'd have one or two. but Back no. or something. Yeah. yeah. Is it different not putting your hand down? <coughs> No, just because I still put my hand down on the ball, so I mean, not, not too often much difference. <laughs> but along those lines, what Bob's saying, you, football players are a creature of habit. Mm -hmm. And when, like Monday when he said, hey, go to center, man, that's, that's kind of a jolt. I, think I didn't take it that way. You didn't? I, mean, just kinda, I was just, I just, he said, you know, can you snap? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, let me see you snap. And I snapped. And he said, hey, he said, go in with the... Go, go to center, and I said, okay. Ran out on the field. Didn't, didn't bother me a bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe better for you, some guys would probably you know, say, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, no, it doesn't bother me. Uh, you know, I've told them multiple times, you know, I'll put me in tight end, I don't care. It doesn't bother me, I'll play wherever. The more positions you can play, the better off you are. That was the first mention? I mean, he had never even seen, seen you snap before. No, I mean, I'd, I'd snapped around, just messed around in okay. practice, and uh, so like, Tio had seen me, so, you know, I'd, I'd told him before that, you know, I'd played, because uh, he had asked me, you know, what all I did in high school, and I told him, I said, you know, my freshman, sophomore year, I played center, junior year, I played guard and a little bit of tackle, or I played tackle and a little bit of guard, and senior year, I played all tackle, and I was out there, I think I was with Austin or Jack just messing around, he's like, hey, you know, can you snap, and I said, yeah, and, <laughs> so let me see you snap one. I snapped one and then I rotated in that practice. What position did you play baseball? Uh, played third, first, and I pitched. Okay, I'm glad you didn't say shortstop. Or <laughs> yeah. There you go. I say bad to you, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that would have been rough. <laughs> Could you hit? Yeah. About a clean up. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but you, know, you know, these things happen. You know, I think back to, you wouldn't know this, but you know, we had a Remington Award winner that started at guard, and then one day they put him at center, and he was snapping pop-ups, and soon later he was the best center in the country. So that happens, man. Yeah, I mean, you never know. It's just one of those things, you know, you get moved, learn the position, and, you know, you really hone in on those fundamentals, and you, know, you just take it on the run. So, I mean, and I don't know. I, I don't know what Coach Moore's plans are or Coach Brown's plans are in the future. You know, as I said, they're just kind of shuffling people around trying to find – trying to find that fifth guy. So, I mean, I don't know if it's permanent, temporary, and, you know, just yeah. take it day by day, and wherever they tell me to play, that's where I'm going to play. But you're not a guy that overthinks things. You just go out and do it, right? Yeah, just one day at a time. That's how I look at it, and that's what my dad taught me. So, I mean, I've, I've known that and always been taught that since I've been younger. So, I mean, it's not – I don't look at the future. Take pretty, it day by day. Pretty good philosophy. Yeah. Yeah, very thankful for the parents that I have. Gotcha.